So things have evolved in the towing world apparently, and now we do ice recoveries. Never really messed with ice recoveries in the past, but I guess if the work's there, we'll do it. So we got some stuff from the old tractor supply, pistol bit ice auger, just because I don't like gas, and I ain't spending $700 for a good one, because I don't ice fish. In the few holes I'm gonna drill, I think the Milwaukee drill will do just fine. So we're gonna build some sort of A-frame and uh, I got a better idea from the last recovery we did. The beams work, but the beams are so freaking heavy. So we might cut down the beams and bring them with anyways, because they do work as a good cantilever by hand to pry stuff. So um, we'll probably cut them down and bring them with anyways, but this will be just be a four-wheeler recovery we're gonna do. So we'll see how it works. I got an old Holmes 440 boom, and they're kind of shaped like an A-frame. I've seen other people do this what I'm gonna build. So I'm gonna whip this thing up tonight and see uh, see if it works tomorrow. A little trial and error, I guess, uh, as long as we have more trial than error, I'm happy. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna rig it up tonight in the driveway and see if it will work the way I hope it'll work. Stay tuned. Okay, we're in the shop. I got this Holmes 440 boom and the A-frame part of the boom we're gonna do flat plate, two dogs up, get this to sit on the plate. Underneath the plate, it's gonna have two columns that comes down out of the four by four square. That'll drop down into the ice, plate across. Across top of the plate, we'll have the eyelets that them clip into, pin into, it drops in the ice. That boom goes into here, adjustable, depending on what you're pulling out. I'll just drop a pin through, all manual. This is pretty light way lighter than lumber um, square tube I'm gonna use the plate for the mounting is just quarter inch because it's not load bearing all it is a surface area because the load is getting pushed on the ice so it'll have two dogs here here boom will come up like this it'll sit in the ice take some more tube a little bit of tube on each side of that probably a little bit of an angle because then you can run a four by four through it on both sides to get the surface area spread out over the ice if you got thin ice. Two tie backs coming from the top of the boom down to the back. Winch unit of some sort. Top of the boom over the hole. Pulls the piece of whatever out of the out of the ice. Snags. Tips the whole boom up. Cantilevers back down. That's what we're building. Should be pretty quick. Not really much of a choice. Need it done for tomorrow to test it on a job. So no testing, but it's going to get done, and it's going to fucking work, so let's get at it. Okay, we're all set up to go. I built the rig last night. I uh, neglected to take any vid videos of building it because I didn't have time to, but you'll see it all put together today. I got this little John boat, about the same width as the, the mini Bombi. Got her all rigged up. We're going to load her on the flatbed and see if... Uh, see if this isn't gonna work today. I'm thinking it's gonna, so we will keep it going from there. Now we're on the road, loaded up. Uh, looks like there's a snow front right along where we're headed. So hopefully it's not snowing too bad, but you can definitely see it. Um, I checked the forecast, it says flurries, but hopefully it dissipates, but it is headed right in the direction we're going. So hopefully it calms down and I bet we couldn't have done this job yesterday because it was 45 degrees and now today it's going to barely break 20. But uh, it is what it is and I don't want to wait and tomorrow isn't going to be any better. So you might as well uh, knock it out even if it is in a little bit of snow. So stay tuned. This is my first time operating this thing and let's see if it doesn't just all fall through the ice.